In this video, we're going to look at real world problems or word problems in scientific notation. Okay, so up to this point, we've learned how to write numbers in scientific notation. We've learned how to do uh, multiple or multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction with numbers in scientific notation. So now we're going to take it a step further, and we're going to look at some word problems and how to evaluate these word problems. All right, so just a, a couple of things before we look at two examples. First thing, we want to read each problem, read the problem to find what operation to do. And those operations are going to be, I'm going to multiply these numbers. I could divide, add, or subtract. And there's a couple instances where we might see a word or two that is a little tricky, um, and we're going to see an example of that in just a second. All right, I want to make sure all numbers are in scientific notation before doing an operation. Okay, remember that both numbers have to be a base number times 10 to a certain power in order for the number to be in scientific notation, thus allowing us to do the operation. Okay, so just a little example of that. If they say something like, or if they give you the whole number like 3, so they, maybe they say um, you've got 1.2 times 10 to the third, and you're going to multiply it by 3, or there's 3 of these items. Okay, we could write 3 in scientific notation. Right? We just write 3 or 3.0 times 10 to the 0. All right, remember our 0 exponent rule? Anything to the 0 power is 1. So we can write this in scientific notation because really this is 3 times 10 to the 0, and 10 to the 0, anything to the 0 power is 1. So it's like 3 times 1 which is three, so the value of the number stays the same, okay? And lastly, we wanna write our answers in both scientific notation and standard form. Since this is a real world problem, we want a real world answer. All right, so here we go, example one. It says the population of Memphis, Tennessee is 6.5 times 10 to the fifth. Los Angeles, California has a population of four million. How many times larger is LA than Memphis? Okay, so a couple things here. Let's look at our first step. It says read the problem to find out what operation to do. So a key word here is times. How many times larger? Okay, usually when we hear that word, we think multiplication, right? Times table, five times two. Okay, we think multiplication. But in this case, the way they're asking us the question, put in two easy familiar numbers and ask yourself how many times larger one number is than the other. Okay, so I like to use 8 and 2. So ask yourself, how many times larger is 8 than 2? Okay, well, you could probably think 2 times 4 equals 8, so it's 4 times larger. But really what you did was 8 divided by 2, right? How many times larger is 8 than 2? You do 8 divided by 2. Okay, so take that same logic to this word problem. How many times larger is L.A. than Memphis? So it's going to be a division problem. And our number for LA is going to be the numerator. It's going to be the number on top. Okay. So we're going to have um, our number for Los Angeles, which is 4 million. Okay. So we know we're dividing, but we got to make sure all numbers are in scientific notation. Okay. So 4 million, I need to write that out with my zeros. Okay. So that's 4 million. But that's in standard form. That's not in scientific notation. So I need to write that in scientific notation. Okay, so remember, I'm going to put, I'm going to go caret to decimal. Okay, so add left to right. First digit that's not zero, it's a four. Okay, now where's my true location of the decimal? Well, on this number, it's right here. Okay, so caret to decimal, I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I have four times 10 to the sixth. All right, that's four million, okay? Four times 10 to the sixth. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out how many times larger this number is than this number. Okay, so think how many times larger is eight than two, I put eight on top. Okay, so here I'm gonna do four times 10 to the sixth divided by 6.5 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, so now we're just thinking back to our division rules. All we do, divide the base numbers, subtract the exponents. So in my calculator, I can do four divided by 6.5, and I get roughly 0 0.62. Okay, so let's say 0 0.62 times 10. Okay, and all I do is subtract, six minus five is one. Okay, but that's not in proper scientific notation. I'm gonna have to move my decimal once to the right so that it becomes 
6.2. Okay, and remember Lars left add right subtract. So I have to subtract one. So my answer is 6.2 times 10 to the zero. That's uh, scientific notation. Let's write it in standard form. Okay, that'd just be 6.2 times one, right? Because anything to the zero power is one. Okay, so, or just 6.2 and then we could put a label times larger. Okay, and that's our final answer. So Los Angeles is roughly 6.2 times larger than Memphis, the population. All right, let's look at example two. Example two says, Texas has an area of 2.7 times 10 to the fifth square miles. Rhode Island has an area of 1.2 times 10 to the third square miles. How many more square miles does Texas have than Rhode Island? Okay, so this is very similar to, to example one, but there's a key word not in there, and that word is times. Okay, so we know we're not going to be dividing here. Okay, it says, how many more square miles does Texas have than Rhode Island? Okay, so in this case, let's use some numbers we're familiar with. All right, how many more is four than three? Okay, well, it's just one more, right? So what did I do? Four minus three, and my answer was one. So I know I'm going to subtract these numbers. Okay, so I'm going to do Texas's number, 2.7 times 10 to the fifth minus Rhode Island's number, 1.2 times 10 to the third. Okay, so now I gotta think back to my rules for subtracting numbers in scientific notation. I know that I have to have the same exponent on both of those numbers, okay? And it's easier to do what? It's easier to go from smaller to larger. Okay, so I'm gonna leave 2.7 times 10 to the fifth there. And how do I go from three to five? Think about Lars, left, add, right, subtract. Well, I need to add to three, two terms, right? Or two times. Okay, so three plus two is gonna give me five. All right, so that means I need to go left two with my decimal. Okay, so I move my decimal one, two, put it there. So now I have 2.7 times 10 to the fifth minus 0 0.012 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, so now this number, I'll rewrite it down here. 0 0.012 times 10 to the fifth, okay? So now I have 2.7 times 10 to the fifth minus 0 0.012 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, so now I can take my rules for subtracting numbers in scientific notation. I'm just gonna rewrite this here. All right, and all I do is I subtract the base numbers and I keep the exponent. Okay, so I can do 2.7 minus um, 0 0.012 and I get 2.688. So let's just say 2.69, 2.69 times 10 to the fifth, okay? So that is the, the answer in, in scientific notation, but once again, we wanna write it in standard form. So how do I go from scientific to standard? All I do is move my decimal the same number of times as my exponent. Okay, so I'm gonna go and do that right over here just so we don't run out of room. Okay, so it'd be 2.69, and my exponent is five, right? So I'm gonna move my decimal five times, and it's positive, so I move it to the right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Placeholder zeros here, okay? So I get 269,000, all right? So I'll write that answer over here. So this was my answer, 2.69 times 10 to the fifth, or 269,000, more square miles, and that would be our answer. Okay, so with problems in, with scientific notation, real world problems, we just wanna make sure we read them carefully, make sure we know what operation to do, and make sure we write our answer in scientific notation as well as standard form.